Okay, so using trigonometric identities, this is the part of the parametric equations chapter in the Pure 2 book. We're going to look at how we can convert equations given in parametric form in terms of t into a Cartesian equation, so just involving x's and y's as the only variables. So you might just want to have a look at this first problem here. We've been given that x is equal to sine t plus 2, y is equal to cos t minus 3. We're told t is an any element that's real. And we're asked then to find the Cartesian equation of the curve. So you might want to just pause and think, how would I do that? Maybe even have a crack at it if, if you're feeling confident. So, what were you thinking? Maybe you were thinking this involves sine and it involves cos, involves cos. So maybe this is to do with sine squared x plus cos squared x being equal to 1. Because, of course, that's going to work for any variable, including t. If you were thinking that, you're 100% right. And the key for any of these trigonometric identities problems is just, usually at least, just trying to find an identity you can use just like when we arrange normally to make uh, t the subject and to substitute into one of the other twos, we're going to try and make one of the trig identities a subject or one of the trig functions a subject so we can substitute into an identity. So if I rearrange this first equation, I'm going to get x minus 2 is equal to my sine t. And if I do the same with my other equation, I'm going to get that y plus 3 is equal to cos t, and of course that means that x minus 2 squared is going to be my sine squared t, and y plus 3 squared is going to be my cos squared t, and so my x minus 2 all squared plus my y plus 3 all squared is going to be equal to 1. Right, now this is actually borrowed from the textbook, this example, and the second part of the question was, hence I'll plot the curve uh, of this uh, equation, uh, of these two equations. Well, this is just the equation of a circle, isn't it? With a center, 2 minus 3, and a radius, 1. Remembering our general equation for a curve, uh, for a, a uh, circle rather, as x minus a, or squared, plus y minus b, or squared, equaling r squared for a center a, b, and a radius r. So you could just think how you would plot this. And if we had a look at what this would look like, all we would need to do at the end, once I've sketched my axes, is plot at my point 2 minus 3 circle of radius. So that's so that is our first question and example done.